What do you do Up when you check? The lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim. What do you do when seconds count? I mean, what's your default? You know, we all have a default, just like a computer. You know, and you you put your computer on a default setting, and we all have a natural default setting that we go to uh, in our lives when when, when things are tough. We have a default setting to go to when things are not tough. Uh, We have a default setting to go to when we're sad, when we're happy, when, uh, when we're hot, cold. So the questions I ask you is, what do you do when seconds count? If we look at the Bible, for an example, uh, we look at a situation in which Moses, who who at the time when he was living with the Pharaoh, uh, he had a pretty good life, you know, and he and he was he was living a great life, and he kept feeling like something more was 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 for him in life that God had chosen a different path for him, and at different instances he he had a choice to make, you know. Uh, he saw uh, an Egyptian and, 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 and an Israelite getting into it, and, 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 and he intervened. And then he came back at a different time, and he saw two, two uh, 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 Israelites getting into it, or uh, Hebrews, and he, uh, and, he, and he intervened again. And, and, and there was times throughout his life that, that Moses made decisions. When seconds count, he made decisions that, that end up being big decisions. Uh, if you take a different example, if you take Joseph, uh, in the Bible, he had the same situation. When seconds count, what did he do? You know, when his brothers came and, and they didn't know who he was, they thought he was uh, uh, just a powerful man, and, and he could have chosen uh, to to seek revenge or chosen to take a different route, but, but he didn't. And Jacob and, and, and Ruth and, and all these different examples, and I think, it, I think you can look back on your life, time in which you had to make a decision, and you made a decision, and from that decision, your life went one way or the other. There's a movie called Sliding Doors, and it's by it's with went up Peltro in it. And she makes one decision, and her life goes in one direction. And she makes another one, and it goes in the opposite direction. So when seconds count, when you're when you're standing in a situation and you're facing uh, uh, that person, whether it's the person you're going to have to have a discussion with, or argument, or fight with, a uh, relationship, uh, a boss you asked to for a raise, uh, when seconds count. What do you do? I wrote my, my book is called When Seconds Count, uh, Major Things Happen in Minor Moments. It's, in other words, in those minor moments, major things can happen. And when those seconds count, some of us step up and some of us step out. Some of us show up and some of us show out. You know, what do you do uh, when seconds count? Uh, that's an important question to ask right now because right now we're going through a very, very important part uh, of life. I mean, look at look at what's been going on. I think on I think on the twenty first, we had the solar eclipse, and not only not even a week or uh, barely a week later, here comes this hurricane, and a couple of days after that, here comes the flood. You know, there was a time, you know, when we didn't have the technology and signs that we have now. That those would be signs. You know, people would say, hey, you know, the sky got dark and then it got light or, or whatever, and, and it stayed like that for a while. And a couple of days later, uh, you know, here comes the hurricane. The winds was fierce, and, and it rained. And a couple of days later, you had these floods. And, 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 and what would happen with that story would be, uh, uh, you know, God intervenes, you know. And, and how does God intervene? God work miracles through people. And as you saw uh, through this different hurricane and through the eclipse, people got together to watch the eclipse and celebrate it. But also during the hurricane, people got together. It didn't matter if you was Republican or Democrat. It didn't matter if you was black or white or Hispanic or Asian. It didn't matter none of those things. All that mattered was that we all was willing to help each other because we all understood that we was all human beings. See, when seconds count, a lot of us step up, and we put aside – some of those things that, that we bicker about every day because we understand those things are not really in, in the bigger scheme of things. They don't mean much, you know? So when seconds count, people, humans, Christians, Buddhists, Jews, Muslims, all 
step up. You know, even during this depressing time, you had some that tried to divide. You had some say, well, it happened to Texas because whatever. You had some that tried to say, well, shouldn't the whatever. None of that, none of that matters when seconds count. And so I, I think the lesson that we should learn through what's going on in life, because, you know, you're either going to be going through some, about to go through some, or have already gone through some. That's just part of the deal. But what happens in life is that we have to be able to step up when those seconds count, you know, like, like, like when, when, you, when, you, when your son or daughter comes to you and she, he or she confides in you about something that happened, how are you going to respond? Are you going to flip out? Are you going to and scare him and, and, and make it so that he or she never uh, uh, feels comfortable sharing some, you know, some, some, some hurtful things with you? Or are you going to be able to be open and listen and reflect, not only as a parent, yeah, but as a human being because they, they're open to you? You know, when your friend comes to you and, and they're asking you for advice, are you able to listen to advice and be an ear, a lend an ear to them, you know, when seconds count? Or, 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 or when – when 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 you're feeling ill and you're feeling down, you know, are you going to be one that 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 lays around and pities for yourself, or are you going to be able to still be able to conjure up enough energy to still be that bright light that God wants you to be? You know, that's the that's the thing with seconds count. I'm not talking about when you're going to graduation, when you're getting married, you know, when those those major times that you prepare for. You know, I'm talking about the time that you don't prepare for. See, that when seconds count is when you're not necessarily prepared. What is your default? What do you naturally go to? Who do you lean on? You know, who do you depend on? Who do you call? Or are you the person that people call when seconds count? I'm asking that question because in my Cadivas Robinson challenge, I want to know what do you consider yourself when things get hard? You know, they say adversity causes some, the breaking causes others to become record breakers. When seconds count, are you a record breaker? You know? Um, in one of my favorite movies, uh, in uh, Batman, there's a part in there when Bane, who's the main uh, 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 villain, he's fighting Batman. And I, and I tell this story a lot because it's important. And they're getting into a fight, and Bane starts to get the best of Batman. And Batman looks at him puzzled, and, and Bane looks at Batman and says, Success has defeated you. Victory has defeated you. He's saying that, hey, you've gotten so good, you've gotten so good and used to winning. God's been so good to you, and you've been so blessed that that, that success has defeated you. You know, when seconds count, are you able to reassess, reevaluate, adjust, and adapt? You know, and if you're not, why not? Evaluate that. Why not? Why aren't you able? Why, you know, the decisions you've made in your life have brought you to a point now that those decisions can't solve. I'll say that again. The decisions you've made in your life have brought you to a point that those same decisions can't solve. You know, you have to be able to uh, step up, step out, show up, and sh- show out when seconds count. And when do seconds count? They always count. That's the thing about life. I had a friend named David Torrance. Um, rest in peace. He's only 31 years old. One of the most amazing guys you'll ever meet. A track and field athlete. And as I was for reflecting about uh, the challenge today, I was thinking about that because we never know when it's going to be our time. You know, we never know. And, and, and life doesn't discriminate. It doesn't say you're a good person, so you're going to live long. It doesn't say you're a bad person, you're out of here. It doesn't say life is just life. It's neutral. And so we must recognize the pivotal points. We must recognize when seconds count. You say, I always say major things happen in minor moments, but the truth is there are no minor moments. Major things happen when we make them happen. And so I'm asking you, you know, when major things happen, make it happen now. And remember, all seconds count. So when seconds count, will you be ready? This is Becca Davis Robinson. This is the Davis Robinson Challenge. And once again, I holla. Shout out D on the track, Paint Music Media. Shout out DJ Lee Productions, and I'm Al Ken. But if you a game changer, got my head go. My grind don't hide, we ain't losing drought. I'ma ride till I die, I go hard in that lane. My God is the aim, put me in coach, and watch me change the game. Cause I'm a game changer, I'm a game changer, I'm a game changer. I'm a game changer, I'm a game changer, I'm a game changer, I'm a game changer, I'm a game changer. I'm full corporate, I pledge allegiance. 
to the past, ain't nothing left to give it that reverence that the father gets. So every day I work the sweat, can get a flesh and other rest. They say go hard or go home. I say just do whatever's best. It's evident I'm blessed and I work like it. Fight, fight like a Viking. Fight, fight like a lichen. The difference is I like it, so I shine like I'm lightning. So I'm going head to head with certain death. Who you liking? <laughs> yeah. So it's time for coach to put me in. I'm strapping on my shoulder pads, lacing up my cleats, and then I'm gone with the wind. Like I'm gone in 60 seconds. You can't hold me. You can't check me. Check the memo. Check the message running through. Like, like, like I'm bad as I'm trucking. Whoever's standing in my way. Ain't, ain't no way you gon' stop me. You better run to let me in. Cause I go hard even though they say no way that I could win. Like I'm Brett Ford. I'ma ride this way. My head is in the sky. My grind don't Game changer, I'm a 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 game changer